Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quarter circle with the center O fully inscribed uh, in a square A, B, C, O, as you can see in this given diagram. And moreover, we have got this uh, perpendicular E, D. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, green shaded rectangle E, B, C, D. And furthermore, uh, this code F, C is uh, seven units long and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle uh, e b c d please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step uh, let's make an observation we can see this uh, a o is the radius uh, of this quarter circle so i'm going to label that one as uh, lowercase r then this segment uh, b c is going to be lowercase r as well and finally this uh, radius o c is going to be lowercase uh, as well and moreover i'm going to label this uh, tiny segment uh, c d as lowercase x and this uh, side uh, fd as lowercase uh, y and now let's make an observation once again we know this whole uh, thing uh, is radius lowercase r and this segment is uh, lowercase x so therefore uh, this segment uh, od is going to be lowercase r minus uh, x and now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle uh, e b c d and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area is always equal to length times the width of the rectangle and in our case the dimensions uh, of this uh, green shaded rectangle uh, are uh, lowercase x uh, and lowercase r so therefore uh, the area of this green shaded rectangle is going to be simply x uh, times uh, r and now our task is to find the value of uh, x times uh, r and now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, cdf and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 7 whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase x and lowercase y so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, square plus uh, y square is going to be equal to 7 square. Or simplify this one, we can write down x square plus y square is going to be equal to 49. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And now we are going to think outside the box to make our job simpler. As you can see in this uh, next step, we are going to consider the whole circle with the center O. And moreover, I have extended uh, this line uh, ED all the way to this point uh, G. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if the radius of the circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. And here we can see we got this uh, chord uh, FG and moreover uh, this uh, radius uh, is uh, perpendicular to this chord. So therefore uh, this segment uh, FD is going to be equal to this segment uh, DG. We know this uh, FD segment is lowercase y so therefore uh, DG segment is going to be lowercase y as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OP is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. So this is going to be our lowercase r. So therefore uh, this whole segment uh, PD is going to be lowercase r plus uh, r minus x. If we add them uh, lowercase r plus r minus x is going to give us uh, 2r minus uh, x. And now let's recall the intersecting chords uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords uh, intersect in a circle, uh, then the product uh, of the measurement of the segments of the chords are equal, as you can see in this given diagram. 
and here we can see we got these two chords uh, a c and uh, b d and they intersect each other at this point and as a result we get uh, these uh, segments uh, a b c and d respectively then according to this uh, theorem the product of these two segments so uh, a times b is going to be equal to c times d as you can see in this given uh, equation now let's revert our attention back to our this uh, original problem so we got uh, these uh, two chords uh, this uh, chord uh, pc and this chord uh, fg they intersect each other at this point uh, d and as a result we are ended up with these uh, segments uh, this segment is uh, 2r minus x this segment is uh, lowercase x whereas uh, this uh, segment is uh, lowercase y and likewise uh, this segment is uh, lowercase y as well so therefore we are going to apply this uh, theorem so we are going to get uh, x times 2r minus x equals to y times y and now we are going to distribute so therefore we can get 2 times x times r minus x square is going to be equal to y square and now i am going to move this x square on the other side so therefore we can write uh, 2 times uh, x times r uh, is going to be equal to x square plus uh, y square and now let's focus on this equation one we know our x square plus y square value is uh, 49 so we are going to substitute that value x square plus y square with the uh, 49 uh, over here so therefore we can write uh, 2 times uh, x r is going to be equal to 49 and now i am going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, this x times r and here we can see 2 and 2 is gone so therefore uh, our uh, x times uh, r value turns out to be 24.5 uh, and now let's recall once again the green rectangle area is supposed to be x times r and our x times r value turns out to be 24.5 so therefore our green rectangle area is going to be equal to 24.5 square units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this green rectangle turns out to be 24.5 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye